Hello everyone, this is what we're calling Building One. And this has a lot of great tools. We got some fabrics here, tons of great fabrics. The guy was a tent maker. So there's a whole bunch of different fabrics like tarps and upholstery. We have some cool totems. Look at these totems. Some great totems, lots of hardware. And this guy was big into Coleman, so there's a lot of cool like old Coleman stoves. Look at this old stove, very cool. We got some hardware screws, nuts, bolts, tent stakes. Here's some uh, yard trailers, yard carts. There's two of them, brand new here. You got some books and chemicals, lots of great tools and equipment, hand tools, more hardware, bar stools, radios, DVD players, spotlights. Look at all these some fabulous stuff here's a bunch of pasta makers there's like 20 or 30 of them brand new some more burners and heaters try to pan slow here some more great hardware and tools looks like there's a animal trap look at this huge roll of tarp or visqueen got some brand new first aid boxes all with locked up too with keys looks like some tubing you even got the kitchen sink and faucet, brand new. Got some water purifiers here and cartridge filters. Some more first aid bags with first aid. Look at this whole tote of mace. Great safety item there. Look at all this great stuff. We got some Contessa sound uh, PA system, cassette. Another propane heater. Looks like there's a compressor here. Oh, and then they got the sun oven. That's cool. Looks like a JBL speakers and some other speakers and hardware. Got some old rocking chair, some dollies, furniture dollies, some piping for tents, or whatever you want to use it for. Looks like some stove pipes. There's a truck box, and we got a bunch of PVC pipe corners and tees, elbows, some more heaters and hardware. It looks like this is a whole greenhouse. It looks to be a brand new greenhouse. Some more hardware, some sewing equipment, and a bunch of hardware nuts, bolts, clips, clasps, hooks. And look at all these. These are brand new buckets with lids and the handles. There's just, there's got to be 100 here, 200 maybe of these buckets here can you get look at all those back there and there's like two rows got some outdoor propane heaters some brand new tarps 10 by 10 tarps and some I'm not sure what those are plastic for something some military gear some tarps look at all the strapping some more shop lights ammo containers look at all these ammo containers just bunches of ammo containers. Looks like a brand new generator there. Some nice wooden crates or boxes. Look at all these tool organizers. Bunch of tool organizers. Got this old safe here. American Security Products safe. Some milk crates. Look like a composting machine here. Oh, and look at the log splitter. Well, that's nice. Nice log splitter. Some old Union Special sewing machines. Some more wooden... Uh, Wooden boxes and some stairs. What else we got over here? Oh, and these are the worm worm bins for composting. Very cool. And that is building one. Hello everyone, here we have building two. Some more great stuff. We have some TP poles. Look at these long TP poles. Looks like some canvas tarps. Some nice canvas tarps here. Looks like some sewing treadle type bases. Very nice. Coleman canopy assembly. Uh, looks like some hosing. Some more hosing. You have this nice 
shelving unit, some lamps, and this heavy duty, like almost homemade dolly. Looks like some oil, some old desks, some cool old boxes, though. These boxes are really cool. And these are like submersible water heaters that are in these. Heater immersion liquid fuel fired. It's pretty cool. We have some garden cone type deals, some ropes. Got the bat bird house, the bat house. And there's a kiln there. Some chains. We got a wedge. Um, oh, look at this cool old mop bucket. That's awesome. Looks like something for a tractor, possibly. Here's another one of these water heater fuel fired submersions. And we have a bunch of hardware parts. Some some wood, some buckets, and then down over here we have this heavy duty Troy built rototiller. Look at that sucker, man! That's a nice one. It's called the horse. That is some serious horse on it. Very cool. And that's it for building two. Oh, look at there's some rods actually. Something's under here. For everything in here goes. So, if you see anything you like or something someone else might like, looks like we got some paint and um, looks like a air compressor, some metal. Here we have like the main workshop. We have this cool Sutton shoe machine. Good for leather and tarps. Some toolboxes loaded with tools. We got a nice drill press here. Bench style drill press. Vintage tans, tin, I mean, tools. Bunch of lighting. There's a bunch of equipment in here for repairing. Coleman lanterns. Organizers full of hardware and tools. You got a nice bench vise here. A bunch more ammo cans full of hardware and uh, tools. Bunch of chemicals, battery chargers, looks like alternator parts. Look at that ammo can, big old ammo can. Another propane heater, Makita Sawzall. More toolboxes loaded with tools and hardware. And then we got these organizers full of adapters. And these are all brand new gas light. Uh, light fixtures. Then we have the propane lanterns and replacement glass. Some paint. It's cool. I'm not sure what that's for. Some sort of water purifying or air compressor. <clears throat> Over here we have a bunch of Coleman stoves, chemicals. Bunch of parts, miscellaneous parts and accessories, more Coleman stoves, tape, guns, a massive collection of brand new pins, cordless phones, levels. Oh, and this is cool. It's a gold wing tool set. Looks like a bunch of wire, huge rolls of wire, trays. It's like some tarp, and this is kind of cool here. This is a nice uh, display rack. Got books and lanterns galore. Coleman lanterns. This guy loves Coleman lanterns. Books. Then we got lantern parts. More lantern parts, like new mantles, and um, these are all replacement globes here. All these boxes, replacement globes. Looks like a Makita sander. Here's some the, more of the lanterns. Got some file cabinets, office supplies, files, projector. This nice cart loaded with looks like uh, propane parts and accessories. Bunch of wiring in here. Box loaded full of wire. And if we head on over into the pantry section, is what I'm calling it. We have bunch of jars. There's jars galore in this place. Same with bunch 
more five gallon buckets. So let's see, we have all jars and there's some sheets, some mugs. Looks like possibly some hydraulic jacks there and paper plates and Pilates ball, wicker bass bucket, Coleman cooler. Looks like some pillows. Looks like some Armor All baking soda by the bulk. There's a bunch there. Some luggage. Coleman cooler. Some five gallon lids. Looks like some military clothing. And some other items. More jars. Mason jars. Ball jars. And that's about it for that room. And we're going to go over into this other room. What do we got here? Looks like some sort of exercise equipment. Some weather sealant. Jars. Paint. And then there's these cool storage bins. Looks like they're full of all sorts of different stuff. Military gear and tents and croquet set. That's a cool shelf. Oh, well, look at these Asian style lamps are pretty cool. Looks like we have some... Omar the Tent Guy hats, some more exercise equipment, and Mr. Buddy heater, that's nice, we just sold one of those, and then it looks like, what is this, automatic gate opener, ooh, those are nice, looks like there's two of them there, automatic gate openers, and look at the retro chair is pretty cool too, looks like some pet bins, and some cool crates, and that about does it for this room, Carport side shed. Looks like we have some chemicals, antifreeze, brake fluid, and more. Some roofing supplies, plastic caps, roofing uh, caps. Look at this Honda air compressor here. This thing's nice, huge air compressor. Another air compressor. Looks like another generator. Coleman generator, power mate. Got a nice floor jack. Looks like a sandblasting unit, some traps, some nice stove pipes. <coughs> Bless you. Uh, some airless paint sprayer, some vintage heaters. Let's see. We have more tools, sanders. Saws, drills, got a nice bumper jack here, some more tools and equipment, some vintage stuff, some nice piping, some vintage heaters, some creepers, some more vintage heaters and roll of copper, look at that roll of copper, more lantern parts, some wiring, motorcycle books, it's like a bandsaw and some other cut stencil board only, stencil board cutter thing, that's cool. There's some other cool PC equipment back here in the corner, not sure what it's for. Some sort of mill, looks like some lids and some screens. Can we, can we get those? Oh. And that's it for this building. Here we have the transition where we got a bunch of yard tools. We'll call it the undercover shed area. And we'll probably just choice out of here. Looks like we have another log spreader or a press. Oh, that's a press. That's cool. Some yard tools, pickaxes, rakes, shovels. Look at these steel, these steel bars. Looks like a log cart. That's cool, a little log cart. Got some of these big old liquid bins. Oh, there's a cool old wash ringer, some pet carriers, garden carts, and more. And that's the shed area. We have under the carport, looks like we have a tractor leaf rake with the bag, a hood to an old, old car, Capota lawnmower, some tables, wheelbarrow, have this cool bar here neat. Some generators, propane tanks, 
bunch of propane tanks, some gas cans, another old generator, split and mall, and more. Out in the garden area, we have some steel piping for a canopy. Bunch of steel piping here. We also have another truck rack. Some nice fencing poles. Some more metal framing. Some more fencing poles and this big awning here. Hello everyone, so now we're out in the field. We're gonna be selling a couple trailers, like we have this old restoration project trailer here. Cute little thing. We also, if we go over here, we got this cool little cargo trailer. Needs some work, but who knows what you can use that thing for. Looks like we have a, a little um, lawnmower trailer. Then we have a little pop-up trailer, it looks like. Back of a truck. I'm not sure what this heater unit is. We also have this rooftop framing, metal frame rooftop. And this thing's pretty cool. I'm not sure what this trailer's for. Possibly boats. It's it's freaking it is built built tough. Big old tires on it. It's a cool old trailer. Then we have this truck rack here also. And we also have some looks like for a tractor an auger bit. We also have this blade. See that blade there? Looks like for pushing dirt. And then there's some um, forks for, I'm guessing for a tractor, some forks and also some other forks here for the tractor. And that pretty much does it out here. Here. All right. This is pretty cool right here. We have this huge metal, this little thing's like solid steel box. And also this large tarp. Not sure what the tarp's for. 